How y'all doing? Um, damn. Been a long. It's been a couple of days since I made a video. I, I, don't, I don't know how long I've been make. I bet I made a video. Was it like two days ago? I think so. I don't know. But let me get straight to the point of this video. I don't know what I'm gonna title this video afterwards. But um, um, just my journey. I, I'm today. I'm gonna just talk about my journey, my porn reboot, and all this. Uh. Um, what I have learned, I just, I've been just doing a lot of research, how to deal with trauma, because I had a lot of guilt and shame with porn and shit like that, and shit that I did in the past, and, uh, regarding porn and shit like that, and what really helped me was meditation, um, self-loving myself, um, just working out, like, kinda, all these combinations really helped me, helped me be the man I am today, and some, I'm, 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 I'm bro. Some people might look at this video and be like, oh, what's he's a weirdo, or he's weird, and doing all this different shit. I just want to help people. It is what it is. If you, if you, shit, if, if you, if you click on my video and you got something negative to say, then, what well, it's whatever. But I just wanted to help y'all. Let me get straight to the point. Um, Basically, what porn does, basically, when you watch that shit over time, is it changes your sexual preference as you continue to, continue to watch that shit. Some people get on edge with this shit. And I'm going to use um, this dude as an example. His name was Robbie. Um, he was on Dr. Phil. Um, his, mom and, his mom and dad came. Well, that wasn't his biological mother, but that was his bi biological dad, I think. Yeah, that was his biological dad. Whatever. Right. So he came out. He was like, uh, she was basically saying her son was a pedophile. They fear he was a pedophile. That was that was the title. But he was, and, and he admitted to doing this to victims and doing that or, or whatnot to, like, harming, like, basically, like, Doing something sexual with children. He was like 15. It starts while you're young. While it changes. When you watching all that shit. Um, I'm not saying every nigga who watches porn will become a pedophile. But but, he, but the dude even. She said that he said basically. If he would have never saw the magazines. Or whatever. Which magazines lead to videos. So I know he was watching videos. Leads to all that. When you see all that aggressive. And you see all types of genres of porn and shit like that. All it does was changes your sexual. Yo, I, I give. I should check. I almost said check the sexual preference, um, sexual preference meaning, uh, what you find. If you guys don't know what I mean by that, w meaning what you guys find attractive, in the long run. So, um, it can also lead to you acting out like e extreme ass material. It, like extreme ass material you've been watching. You might create a own scenarios in your head, um, how you want sex to be, and it's got to be this scene and perfect. How the perfect is got to be, um. Basically, it, it it affects everybody in different ways. Um, today, I, uh, what was it? Today, today a big, oh yeah, his mother. Oh yeah, that's what I want to do. This is my second time, well, fucking second or third time recording this video. So, his mother is, is Kristen Pepper Pipe, well, Kristen Piper. I'm going to try to leave her, uh, her YouTube in the description. She's all about, like, just helping victims and all that shit. And she's just, just uh, she's all about... What I'm about to say, um, preventing the pedophilia and all this shit, all this weird, freaky ass shit that's going on, and even like the, the celebrities that, um, it's, I heard, I I saw, I watched, uh, y'all know who So is, right? So Luminati, he does videos, and he, and he was like basically telling Donald Trump to tell him about all the pedophiles and shit like that, and I'm all for, um, my whole purpose on this channel. I, I don't think I really said this. It's just preventing, you know, what I'm saying not only sexual assault, rape, and all this shit. And the pedophilia, but just I just uh want to want people to have a healthy sexuality, so that's why I make these videos <clears throat> because I had an unhealthy relationship with porn, and I was once uh addicted and um being you know what I'm saying with you with a girl you with and um shit you might be in love with or whatever, and you have a you you feel like y'all have a connection and you being uh you not able to really get it get it up or get it aroused really fucks with you um and you got all these like fucking what 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 do you call it scenarios in your head about how you think sex should be and she ain't with it she's like what the fuck like or you might not even have told her but you had all these sexual scenarios and they ain't doing all this shit that these women doing in these porn all the porn does from an energy perspective you you let out all your good energy um your testosterone for the women i i, I don't know what it's called but it's your, I'm going to just say your sexual energy for both. You letting out all this sexual energy. You letting out all this dark. You letting in. So you letting out 
all your good energy, you you put it in dark energy into your into yourself. Um, I don't want to try to scare. You. I'm just saying, from an energy perspective, you putting all this dark energy, and you notice why when you get done masturbating, or you, I wouldn't say masturbating, you put bad energy. I don't know, but you do feel shame, like you ain't. Well, let me just let me stay on topic. You feel this is why you feel shame for when you get done watching porn or when you get done ejaculating, especially with porn. You, I feel like you will feel more shame ejaculating to porn than you do just by yourself. I think, uh, I think so. I'm not sure. The shame, excuse me, the shame for me, uh, what I about to say, the shame for me stopped when like, fuck, I just got so numb and when I started getting, going through PID, PIED issues, if you guys don't know what that is, porn induced erectile dysfunction, where you can't get it up real with a, uh, with a, with a real partner, and then, uh, what was it? What the, I keep forgetting what the fuck I was about to say. Yeah, porn, basically when you can't get it up. And, uh, oh yeah, that's all I was about to say. I started searching like hella crazy, like, and then found a whole fucking forum of guys just with the same issue, not just guys, but it was, it was, I feel like it's girls that go through all type of issues. Like they, you know, when niggas can't get it up, it's girls that can't get aroused or wet, you know what I'm saying? During, uh, Doing intercourse or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Just can't really, you can't really get aroused because you're so addicted to that screen. And what was I about to say? About I'm gonna bring up that that Robbie incident. This is why I preach. Um, this is why I continue to help. Uh, this is why I, well help meaning helping y'all meaning making videos, educating y'all, just trying to you know how, you know how we educated on cigarettes, but it's still legal life. Life, uh, I feel like the people that's over porn industry, they're being out of the industry just because women, they want to, they want, they want you to see a woman getting raped on camera or a woman really being sexual assaulted, um, and she really in need of the money and they really just taking advantage. They want, they want to push those type of agendas, the incest, all of the, the rape. They want to push that, and what do you get when you get, um, when you push that into, especially uh, websites like Pornhub and all that. Well, not just porn, but any other sexual website, any other porn websites. It's all type of child pornography. You can go on the dark web. Um, you could type in, and then they were like, "These people are uh selling child pornography." It's all type of shit. But basically, what I wanted to say is, um, they want to push this. They push this up on millions of people. Millions of people watch porn. It's at least like a hundred million people. I bet y'all didn't know that. At least like a hundred million people watch porn every single day. And it's just, I feel like it's destroying people's sexuality when they could be meditating, cultivating their energy. We never, as kids, I know, shit, I'm 18 now, and I feel like I got a lot of knowledge. As a kid, I was never taught to really, um, cult and when I say cultivate, I mean, like, kind of, like, control. I don't know if cultivate, cultivate might mean, I'm gonna just say control. Control, I was never taught as a kid to really control my sexuality, um, and control my sexual urges, or... Feel his thoughts to uh, uh, another person. I just acted off instinct or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when I when I felt when I felt the urge to watch porn, I did, and shit, I jacked up. I, I I beat my shit into exhaustion. I ain't even gonna lie. I, it's it's a lot of people. It's a lot of especially men that can really say that. They beat this shit into exhaustion, and that, and that's why I share my story because I want to help you guys. Because I know a lot of people is not very comfortable talking about it, especially about. The pedophilia and all this shit, but this shit has got to stop when they promoting all this shit in porn. And then what they want to do is, and all the rape and all this shit, and then they want to arrest us for it when they the ones teaching this shit and pushing the fucking shit into the porn industry and letting this shit just just fly. And they they not really teaching shit. The government and whoever these 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 billionaires are not doing nothing. Who who I want to know who's over porn. I've looked it up. I ain't never found who's over who. I want to know who's over porn hub. What the fuck are they doing? Like what are they what are they pushing? My head is kind of getting like stomach. I just took a Benadryl, bro. My head is kind of like that's why you can see my eyes kind of closed. I'm like I'm trying to look at the camera, but I keep looking down because it's kind of like hurting. I don't know. I'm about to go to sleep. I'm gonna wrap this video up. I just needed to get this off my chest, y'all. <sighs> man, it feels good getting this off my chest, man. I just I love y'all, man. Um, y'all my people. Even though I go through a lot of shit daily, um, still just making these videos just to really help you guys and um, just educate you guys because uh, somebody else will. Your parents won't. Some of your parents, your parent, I feel like your parents is sleep on this topic. They don't know what the fuck is going on. 
they shit, they probably never had like a porn problem or you know what I'm saying? Or uh just like how Robbie Robbie had he had a he had a port a pedophilia problem because of what he was seeing at a very young age. When you watch porn, when you see porn at a very young age, you can instantly become hooked when you get older because you wouldn't you would instantly, the first time you see the porn when you're younger, you be like, oh, what the fuck? Because that's how I was. And then I eventually got hooked, boy. I eventually got hooked. I was watching that shit by the age of 9, 10. That shit programmed the fuck out of my brain. Just because you just, just because, and I want to, it's all type of double standards and shit like that. Just because, oh, if you a dude that they don't get no pussy. I was I was a nigga that, was, that had women, that in, in middle, especially in middle school, bro. That was when I was really... Uh, before I went through my porn reboot in my high school, I'm still going through my porn reboot right at this time, bro. This is why I'm helping you guys. And, uh, yeah. So, um, basically in middle school, shit, just because, like, say, this is how they say it, right? Just because a guy, like, he might not be, he might not look like me. He might not be attractive to most girls, right? He might be glasses or whatever. They say, oh, he's most likely to be. Uh, to be uh watching porn every day all day because he's not getting that. I was, bro, woman was getting thrown at me, um, shit, and I just I couldn't get aroused, bro. Like you know what I'm saying, and that, and that's hard for a man. But I'm saying, but I'm what I'm saying is that's like the double standard because anybody can go through this this porn addiction shit. You can be shit. I'm good looking. I'm attractive. Women like me. Women fuck with me. They might not say. They might be scared to talk to me. But I know, you know what I'm saying that they wanna holler at me. But I don't I, I'm trying to explain this shit. My brain is just not fucking working today, bro. Sometimes I just feel like my brain not working, bro. Honestly, bro. I be trying. But basically, like, bro, just because the nigga, he might not look like me. He, wear, he might wear glasses. He might look like a nerd. He might not get no women thrown in him and still be addicted. And a nigga like me. They got women all throwed at them and still want to watch porn. It's something with that porn that we don't know. It's something with that porn that just, it's that rush, bro. Everybody's chasing that feeling. Everybody's chasing that feeling. Everybody's chasing that, you know what I'm saying, that fucking, that. Fi <sighs> Let me calm down. Let me refresh my word. Everybody's chasing that feeling of sexual gratification. I just sit here and meditate. I I just got done meditating. Meditating is one of the best things I have did in my entire life. It's just in just in uh controlling trauma. Not really so much controlling, but healing myself and trauma that I put myself through in the past and everything I've done in the past. And I just really try to forgive myself because I'm a Sagittarius. If y'all don't believe in astrology, I'm a Sagittarius. Uh fucking. I believe in some of the, I feel like some of the, I'm a Sagittarius, basically. I'm a Sagittarius. I believe in some of the traits. I beat myself up a lot. I overthink everything, bro. I care. I care. I, I feel, I fear, I said fear. I said, I meant to say, I feel emotions like deeply lit, deeper, deeper. I feel emotions deeper than any, I got so much shit to get out of my chest, bro. But I feel uh, emotions deeper than than just people, just just people. Some people out here, bro. You know what I'm saying? So one thing I want you encourage you guys to do on your reboot, just journal, bro. Journal. Write things you thankful for. Be thankful right now, bro. On this journey, I'm still going through. Like I said it before, I'm still going through my reboot. These ups and downs, bro, just put me through. I kind of like I feel. I don't know if it's a spiritual awakening or what, but I just been meditating. I've been more spiritual than ever, bro. I can't. I can't really relate to people like on a, a spirit. If I'm talking about meditating, they probably think I'm weird. Like the people at my job or just females that I'm around. None of these females is really, really working on themselves. Uh, like I, I would say spiritually, like meditating, doing healthy activities. I might start getting crystals. I got to do research. I just start getting into angel numbers and I'm just, man, I'm appreciating it. And I just want to thank Soul Illuminati because making those videos about meditation and I just tried it just to hop on the wave. And really didn't know, like, this man, this shit really self-healed, helped me self, uh, it just really helped me deal with a lot of trauma, like, you know, a lot of bullshit, a lot of trauma, it was all type of shit I was going through, man, and I and I deal with it way better because of meditation, bro, what meditation is what really helped me. Another thing was sun gazing, I, I keep talking about, I'm, I'm getting off topic, I know y'all probably don't like these videos, but I gotta get this off my chest, bro, I got to. Because I want to get a little bit off topic. I know I'm so known for knowing about porn and shit like that. But, you know what I'm saying? I just want to show y'all the spiritual side of me. 
And I know I may say shit to people, but one thing you got to do on this journey when you going through your reboot, you got to love yourself no matter what, bruh. Nobody can love you like you can, bruh. I got a lot to get on my chest. That's why I'm kind of like getting, I'm getting too excited, bruh. Like, I'm kind of getting like, I got to take a deep breath. Hold on. All right. Um, basically on my porn reboot, let's get back to this porn topic, guys. Um, that spiritual side helped me with a lot of things. I'm not, I wouldn't really consider myself as Christian, but I do believe in some of this stuff that Christian tells, um, uh, like, like masturbation and pornography, bro. This world is so fucking far. We are so lost, bro. We like, we are so lost for what we drink, for what we eat, for what we watch. Porn is a bad teacher for sex in general. All it does, I, all it... Bro, if you look at the biggest porn videos, promote violence, sexual assault, violence, rape. Come on now, it promotes all this shit. And then when you got kids, just think about if you got kids, some niggas, like, some niggas like me, we just watching it for the rest. But just think about the kids younger than me seeing this shit. Because when I first saw this shit, when I was kind of like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? I was so disgusted by it, bro. But just imagine kids younger than me seeing all this violence and porn. And then they start acting it out, knowing what you know what I'm saying, or they might just do it, or they might just do it for the rush, and then they want to go assault a woman, or they want to go do this because of what they seen in porn, and it's, and and it all comes back to that feeling when they first start watching porn and jacking off and doing all this different shit, bro. All that does is change your sexual preference, like I said. All it does, cause it went from soft core of me to the shit I never thought I'd watch in porn to watching that shit. Shit, all the hardcore shit, like and wanted and wanted to try that shit. And I'm like, whoa. Sometimes you, and wanted to do do all that hardcore shit in porn, and I wouldn't say all of it, but some of that shit had and created all type of fantasies in my head, bro. All the, it fucks your mind up sexually, and that's one thing that uh, I would give her. Uh, what I about to say? The, and when I say her, I mean Kristen, Kristen Piper. I love her videos. I much love to her. I hope she sees this video, um, but just me educating people, and one thing she really, really never really said was um, that pornography, all this sexual assault that's going into pornography, and when you watching that shit, bruh, your brain is like a, like that David Icke said, your brain is like a decoding system, bruh. it's a decoding information, so you download information, make sure you download the right information to your brain, because... Man, it's, and and I'm and I'm and I'm gonna let y'all know something. Doing research on a sexual assault, rape, and pedophilia and all this shit, bro. It's tough, bro, because I know what the fuck is going on in this industry. This when I say industry, I mean porn. Industry. They want it. They they pushing the fuck out. They don't care. They don't care what the fuck. What about to say? Wrap this up. I'm out.